hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you how i made this delicious combo yes the process takes a while but the result is so amazing you will love it all right you all know that i live in the south and so far this is probably one of my favorite southern dish to date yes so if you want to place this on your thanksgiving table stay tuned and keep on watching so just to avoid posting a long video, I went ahead and I chopped my vegetables. I have some red and green bell peppers. I have some chopped onions and some chopped celery. Next, I'm going to be slicing up my sausage and I'm using a Cajun sausage. It's the pork and crawfish spicy sausage. You can find whatever sausage you like, preferably a spicy one. But if you're a person that doesn't like spice, that's fine. Go ahead and find your favorite sausage and I'm cutting them about one to two inch thickness and I am going to just barely fry them on the outside just to get a little crisp. All right, so I need some fire roasted tomatoes. I didn't have the canned one and I have some fresh tomatoes so why not create my own? So I sprinkled on some olive oil, a little bit of black pepper and I'm going to add a pinch of salt and I'm going to roast them. All right, so, so Crystal didn't want the okra to be slimy in her gumbo, so we're going to roast them off just a little bit as well. All right, just for maybe 15 minutes. So now we're going to create our roux, and if you don't have patience like Job, then forget it. Just go ahead and use a store-bought one. All right, I have my stove on medium heat. I added one cup of oil, and as soon as it's heated, I added my flour, and that's one cup of flour. Now we're going to be stirring constantly yeah until you have like a dark brown color all right so we're going to be stirring 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 i'm just going to be showing you the process because this take a very long time to be prepared so i can show you the entire process all right so this was like 20 minutes in i'm still here stirring and i'm using my spatula and this is a silicone spatula it's really good with heat so this is what it looks like after one hour so i'm still here stirring I'm telling you, you have to have patience. I enjoy the kitchen, so I will take the time to make this perfectly without um, destroying my room. All right. So after one hour and 15 minutes, this is the color that I have. I'm not going to cook it any further. You can still go ahead and cook it until it's darker, but I'm going to stop it there because I don't want it to burn. All right. So I am now crisping my sausage just on both sides. And as I said before, you don't necessarily have to fry them if you don't want to. I'm just frying them to get a little crisp on the outside of them. So as soon as both sides is crisp, I just remove them from the oil. Now I'm just going to take out some of this oil and saute my veggies. And you can go ahead and saute your veggies in your roux. But I didn't want to take the chance of burning my roux after taking such a long time to make it. Alright, so I'm just going to saute them separately and then i add it to the roux now i am going to add one teaspoon of garlic the garlic all depending on you and your taste so if you want to add more garlic that's fine all right so after three minutes of sauteing my veggies are ready i'm going to remove them and i am also going to chop up my fire roasted tomatoes <laughs> my homemade tomatoes all right so now i'm just going to place back my roux on the stove and then we're going to add all our veggies, our sausages, our seafood, broth, all the good seasonings. I'm going to list everything in my description box. So I'm going to add a variation of seasoning. So right here I'm adding some bay leaves. I'm also going to add some oregano, some basil, a little dry thyme. I'm going to add dry thyme now. Later on I'll add some fresh ones. And... I'm also going to add some powdered seasonings. So after you add all your seasonings, you want to go in and taste it and then adjust the seasoning to your taste. I have seafood stock and I'm going to add one and a half box of seafood stock. It's all depending on the amount that you're making. So you may need two to three bucks if you're making more than I am making. All right, so we've added all our veggies and all our herbs now i'm gonna add some powdered seasoning and i'm also gonna add this scotch bonnet pepper it's really hot and spicy instead of using the powdered um cayenne that's what i'm gonna be using but you can use cayenne if you wish all right so i'm adding some cajun seasoning some creole seasoning and i'm adding some chicken bouillon as well 
and a little bit of my old bay all right so i am going to just stir everything in along with my okra and i'm going to taste it to see right here i'm adding a teaspoon of combo file and then i'm going to go in and taste it to see if everything is perfect all right so we are going to allow this to cook down for about 30 minutes and then i'm going to add my shrimp and then my crab i'm going to add the crab last because it's already pre-cooked so that's the last thing i'm going to add in there so after 30 minutes of simmering on low heat i am going to add my shrimp and i'm also going to give that a few minutes to cook and then add my crabs and some more fresh herbs all right so for my fresh herbs it's going to be some chopped green onions or as we call it scallion and i'm also going to add some fresh thyme so after adding the shrimp i'm just going to cover it down to simmer for a couple minutes and still on medium heat guys then i'm adding my fresh scallion and my thyme and then i'm going to add my crabs all right so as i said the crab was already pre-cooked so that's the last thing that i'm going to add and i'm just going to break them apart as you can see here i'm using the snow crab legs the meat from the snow crab legs and i just break them apart and add them to my gumbo so i'm going to give this another three minutes just so that the crab meat can absorb the delicious flavor from the gumbo and i'm also going to add a tablespoon of oyster sauce this is optional this is just my preference so we just need the oyster sauce and the crab to get an, a good three minutes and then your gumbo is ready to be served all right this is super delicious guys if you're watching from jamaica you can go ahead and try it you know i live in the south so we do get used to trying soul food southern food if you're ever in louisiana you can go ahead and try this as well so thank you guys so much for watching you can add this to your thanksgiving table it's just another option and it's super super delicious the process is long but the result is amazing all right don't forget to be kind show some love enjoy your holidays and i'll see you guys in my next video